everyone, it's Miss Elizabeth. And today for Art Attack, we are going to make paper bag flowers. So they're super fun and easy to make. And you should probably have all of the supplies at home. So let's go over what you'll need for supplies. So the most important thing is to have eight to 12 paper bags. You probably wanna make sure you have at least 12 um, it will depend on how big you want to make your flower, how many bags you'll need. Um, but, but plan on having at least 12 paper bags that are all the same size. And then you're going to want to have glue. Um, I will be using a hot glue gun. So if you have one and you're able to use it um, safely, please go ahead and use that. But otherwise, you can just use regular glue as well. Uh, you'll need scissors and you'll need a pencil. You'll also need a hole puncher and you'll need some paint <clears throat> if you would like to paint your flowers. Um, it's totally up to you, but it does make the project a little bit more fun. And of course, you'll need paint brushes to go along with that paint and you'll need construction paper as well. Today I am going to show you how to make a paper bag flower using um, just a few materials. So if you have leftover lunch bags or um, any other kind of paper bags at home, you can use that. Uh, you'll probably need somewhere between 7 to 12. So you want to make sure that you'll have enough for each flower that you want to make. Um, you'll also need um, a pencil some scissors, uh, optional, but if you want to paint it, you'll need some paint brushes. Uh, I have a piece of black paper here to make the center of the flower, and then I'm going to use um, hot glue. So I'll use a hot glue gun today, but you don't have to use a hot glue gun. You can use regular glue. You'll just have to be a little bit more patient um, while you're waiting for it to dry, because you'll, you won't be able to complete the flower until it's fully dry. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cut our bags. So I will get my flower I previously made so you won't be able to see the whole thing because it's so big but if you see the edges I made these rounded edges to make them look really nice. Um, you can do pointed edges if you like or you can try a different shape for the edges of the flower, however you want to do it. You can experiment with that. So I think today that we'll do some pointed edges. So I'm just going to draw a triangle on here. I'm going to go get something to trace and then I will be right back. Okay, I have a plastic container here to trace because I want to make sure that it's nice and even and straight. Okay, so I'm just going to trace this and I'll put that away. And then you are going to cut. So, you are going to repeat this with each, with each of your bags. So, you want to make sure that they're all facing the same way. And I'm just going to use the bag as a template and use my pencil. And then I'll cut out 12 bags and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, I have all 12 of my bags cut out. Um, so the next step is to glue them together. So as I said before, I'm using my hot glue gun. If you're using a hot glue gun, you wanna make sure to be very careful. And I'm just kind of putting glue haphazardly. And then you want to make sure that the bags on the bottom are lined up really well. And then press them together. 
Again, be careful because you're going to feel the warmth from the glue if you're using a hot glue gun. So you just want to be really careful if you're using a hot glue gun. And you just continue that process over and over. And then when we get to about seven or eight bags, then we're going to see if we need to keep adding more. Depending on the size of your bags, you will need to add more or less to be able to make them a full circle and into a flower. Um, so the bigger your bags, the more you'll probably need to add. The smaller your bags, the less you'll probably need. So I think I added four now. Yes. So I have four. So I'm going to keep going until I get to seven. To add a little bit more glue. And as I said before, you don't have to use a hot glue gun. Um, if you're impatient, you can. But if you're patient, you can use regular glue. You'll just have to let it dry thoroughly before moving on to the next step. And again, if you use a hot glue one, you want to be really careful that you don't burn yourself with the glue because it does get very, very hot. Okay, so I'll show you how to, once you get, I think I have six or seven at this point. So then you're gonna take the sides and you're gonna pull. You don't wanna pull too hard. And this definitely needs more bags because it's not gonna go in a full circle without being way too stretched out. So, oh, I have six bags here now. So I'm thinking I'm probably gonna need 12 because it's about halfway so I'm going to keep going and then I will come back once the all the bags are glued together okay I'm just about done as I'm finishing up I just wanted to remind you to make sure when you glue the bags together that this bottom flappy side is always facing up um, you want Otherwise, your, your flowers are going to turn out a little bit wonky. So you want to make sure that they're always facing the same way. As you can see, this side there's no flap. This side there's a flap. So you want that flap facing up. And I'm going to do this as my last bag. And then we're just going to stick that together. Okay, so I have all 12 of my bags all glued together. So when you pull it apart, you'll see you can form a circle. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put glue on these on this side and this part you want to be really really careful because you're only going to have one layer of that bag to protect your hands so just be really careful that you don't burn yourself okay i'm gonna move a little bit fast so the glue doesn't cool off too much I, try, I carefully press them together and then you can probably put your hands in other bags that are close to it to kind of protect them a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to pull the camera up a little bit. Get this. 
Okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, we have a flower and um, if you want, you can stop here. I think it looks really pretty how it is, but I'm going to continue on in case you want to make it a little bit extra special. Um, so what you can do with these um, is you can hang them up. So you just need to take a hole punch and punch inside like this and then put a string in there if you want to hang it up. Um, but that is optional. However you want to use your art is up to you. So I will show you kind of, let me grab my other one, the steps I took to um, do this flower. And please feel free to use your own imagination and do your flower how you would like to do it. If you want to use brighter colors, by all means, use brighter colors. Um, however you want to decorate yours is completely up to you. So I will show you how I painted this flower. And I also used the hole puncher on the edges to make it look a little extra special. So I'll show you all of that as well. Okay, so we have our hole puncher. So I'm gonna punch a hole right about here to make it so that I can hang up this flower. And then if you wanted to add some extra little decorative holes on the edges, you could just go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to add a few on one petal just to kind of show you how easy it is to do that. Okay, and then you would just have to go all the way around your flower and do it on each petal. So if you would like to paint your flower, I just am using some washable paints here. And my original flower I used brown and yellow, but this flower I think I'm going to use blue and pink just to see how it turns out. So, you can really do it however you like, but I'm going to focus on using the pink one. And you can just go in the crevices. That's probably the easiest way to do it, is to just go over the creases, and it doesn't have to be super perfect. But this is how I did the first one as well. And then you're just going to go all the way around. Okay, and then I also kind of focus in the center a little bit. However you want to do yours is how you should do it though. And then I just go all the way around and I'll show you um, then I took a smaller brush and I used my second color and I just kind of blended the colors together. So it's like that. 
there we go. Now we're blending the colors together. So now we've got like a purple going on here. So however you want to do it, it's completely up to you. And so for my final touch on my other flower, I did this little black circle you can see to make it the center. So all you're going to do for that is get whatever color piece of paper you would like. I'm just using construction paper and you find something round to like a cup and you just grab your pencil to trace around it. And go ahead and cut it out with your scissors. And you don't even have to use a circle if you don't want. You could really do whatever shape you like. If you want to do a star, if you want to do a heart, however you want to do it. Because this is your creation. It's your work of art. So here we go. So then I would just put glue on this and stick it right on there. And that would be the center and then my flower would be done. So I really hope that you get creative with this project and you really enjoy it. Um, I had a lot of fun making these and there's so many different ways that you can make them different. So feel free to make as many as you like. If you do decide to make this flower, please share it with us um, on Facebook or on Instagram. We would love to see your creations. Thank you so much, and I hope you join me next time. Goodbye.